I'm gonna be honest, I did not like that Nintendo Direct. I thought it needed just a few more farming simulators. But seriously, hidden between all those JRPGs, we did actually get some very brief new footage for Mario Kart Booster Pass Wave 3. And when I say brief, I mean really brief. It only showed off two of the eight tracks, but there is actually some interesting stuff here, some stuff that was confirmed, and some stuff in these tracks that actually deviates from when we've seen these tracks before. So some interesting questions arise from this footage as well. What's going on guys, it's Thomas on the Switch Shop, and this is the real significance of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Pass Wave 3 sneak peek. All right, so just like the trailer started off with Mary Mountain, we're gonna start off with it as well because there is way, way, way more interesting stuff in Mary Mountain than Peach Gardens in my opinion. So first off, this is where this track kind of deviates from the tour version. I have a lap of tour being played right now. I recorded this a long, long, long time ago, but to my knowledge, they haven't changed the track in tour, so it still works. As we can see, there's an item box set here right at the start of the map, and then a couple couple later on, one on this wooden bridge, and one when you're coming down from the giant hill. Now in the footage we can see for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Pass, we see that initial item box here, and there's the wooden bridge, but there's no item. And then here's the downward slope, and there's no items here as well. In fact, we only see these items throughout the entire course, and from what we see in the trailer, we can pretty much see the entire, entire map. So we can see the whole map, but we only see one section of items, obviously this course isn't going to have one set of item boxes per lap. I don't think that's ever been the case in Mario Kart ever. Even Baby Park has more than one set of item boxes per lap. So we get into the question, where are the other item boxes? Of course, there is always the speculation that, hey, they're still developing these. They're not coming out until later in the holiday. Maybe they haven't placed down the item boxes, but if they're gonna place down one set of them, why wouldn't they just place down the other ones? In reality, I think what we're getting here is this Toad Santa character, whatever. Whoever's on this big train sled thing will actually be throwing off item boxes boxes onto the track. So why do I think this beyond the fact that we just don't see any other item boxes? Well, in this clip right here, you can see that the, I guess, I, I guess it's a sleigh, but it also like goes on railroad and is also a train. Whatever, this vehicle clearly goes directly above where we will be racing. So what if they drop off items and that's why we don't see any in the trailer? They haven't dropped any off yet. We also out of nowhere got a mechanic relatively similar to this in the most recent DLC. In the Snowland track, those item boxes come down from, I don't know, just the sky. So it is definitely possible that they kind of repeat that, but it actually makes more sense this time because they're coming down from a sleigh, which I, it makes a lot more sense than just them randomly falling. I guess they're snowing in that snowland, but whatever. I don't know. I think it's a lot more realistic that that's the case. We also see this vehicle going up the mountain as well. So that would replace the items that are supposed to be on this big wooden bridge that seemingly aren't there. So we would still get the three items that we get in tour. The one right after the start, one on the wooden bridge, and one on the downward slope. Let me know what you you guys think of that? It's the best working theory in my opinion. Let's move on now to the anti-gravity. So this course has anti-gravity, the second in the booster pass to do so, except we don't really see any anti-gravity pads. I would assume it starts on this bridge and then ends when you jump off the wild U-turn. I'm assuming this because you can kind of see Luigi do a little trick animation. The video is super compressed and blurry, but it looks like he might be activating his anti-gravity or he's just doing a normal trick here. It's kind of impossible to tell. All that matters is we do know that once you get on the snow, you are on anti-gravity and as we see from peach here as soon as you get off the snow on the final section your car or bike in this case transforms back into its normal mode one more thing i want to mention there's like some ice patch here that just wasn't in the base uh like mario kart tour version i don't really know what this is it looks kind of like ice right where the first item boxes are i just think it's interesting last thing half pipes this is huge not necessarily just for mary mountain but for every other course we could potentially get mainly any course from mario kart Wii that utilized half pipes they are now i mean they're in the game it's possible that we could get them. They're just the anti-gravity panels, so they didn't like change anything really, which honestly, in my opinion, is fine. And they seem to function just like they do in Mario Kart Tour, Wii, and any other game that has them. Hopefully this means Koopa Cape and Maple Tree Way will have those where they originally had them, and any other Wii courses we get too, we'll have them implemented. Finally, let's move on to Peach Gardens, and I'm gonna play this little flyby of Peach Gardens. This is the Mario Kart Wii version. I just recorded this on a website called Noclip. That way, if you haven't played this course ever, or at least not in a while, you'll know the layout. So yeah, it's a pretty basic layout, and everything we've seen from the footage in the sneak peek thing, the layout seems to be exactly the same. We still have the same little vertical elevation changes. The only thing that could possibly be different is this 
this part along the end. It's possible that now it's hilly as the grass surrounding it looks a little hilly. You can kind of see it go up and down, up and down, but it's impossible to make out if the actual track does that as well. And we don't see any other footage of that section in the trailer. Next for Mary Mountain, I just want to confirm, you probably saw it, but not only the Chain Chomps, but also Monty Mole is back, seemingly just ripped straight from Moo Moo Meadows. To my knowledge, this is the first and only time in Mario Kart 8 we've had Chain Chomps unchained, just walking around. I know there's like a Chain Chomp in Cheese Land and stuff like that, but I don't really think they're unchained, just moving around. Obviously the Cheese Land one is on a post and I don't even remember any other Chain Chomps. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong there, but I think this is a new mechanic exclusive to Peach Garden. And then last but certainly not least, Peach Gardens has a bunch of different paths, but unlike a lot of other courses in the Booster Pass, there don't seem to be any like arrows requiring you to take one path this time and then one path the next lap, which I like. That's not really the type of vibe I get from this course. And all the paths are very, uh, I don't know, they're very like weird anyway. They're, they're not like huge branching paths. It's just like going around a statue to the left or to the right. So it would be weird to require people to go one path, whereas it works in something like the city tracks because those different paths are actually really different. Before this video ends, I do want to talk about a couple other things that are really important. First of all, graphically, I think this looks even better than Wave 2, which looked better than Wave 1. So, I mean, Nintendo is clearly going in the right direction here. In my opinion, Mary Mountain at least, like this screenshot here, don't mind the compression and everything that's just YouTube and the way I downloaded the video. This looks like it could be as good as Mario Kart 8. It reminds me a lot of Wild Woods, like that sort of Shy Guy village. Like it's it's got a similar like style to it. And the fact that all the houses are lit up mixed with Mario Kart 8's beautiful lighting engine, it's just, I mean, this looks really good, man. Next, I want to talk about the leaks. So I guess if you don't want to hear any leaks for wave three of the booster pass, then click off the video now. Just leave a like and click off or dislike. I don't know. I don't know. Depending if you like the video or not. All right. So getting into the leaks, obviously we knew these tracks were coming. Just reminding people in case they forgot, the leaks for this wave are London Loop, Peach Gardens, which we saw, Boo Lake or Broken Pier, we can't tell from the music, and Rock Rock Mountain, this being the first Rock Cup. And then we would have Berlin Byways, Waluigi Stadium, Mary Mountain, obviously, again, just saw, and Rainbow Road from Mario Kart 7, obviously in this being, I believe, the Moon Cup. So let's talk about this. Obviously, this not only confirms the data mines and leaks even further, if not, you know, if somehow you didn't believe those already, but it lets our imagination run absolutely wild on how visually interesting these other courses are going to be. I mean, my first thought goes to Waluigi Stadium. This course was also in Wii. It was obviously originally from the GameCube, but it was in Wii. And it takes place at like a sunset style of, of, of time. This could look beautiful. Not only that, but there is a section with a bunch of half pipes that have been confirmed, obviously, to exist in Mario Kart 8 with Mary Mountain. Next, let's talk about Rainbow Road. That course could look visually insane. Same with Rock Rock Mountain. Like that course, could, the mountain could be bigger than ever. I don't know. I'm just really excited to see how these all look considering I'm blown away by this. I really, really am. So that's about it. Just quickly, I, I guess my thoughts on the rest of the direct, it was okay. Breath of the Wild 2, or I guess Tears of the Kingdom, looks incredible. I'm happy for Pikmin fans, um, Kirby fans. Good for you guys, I guess, even though you got like seven games this year already. And I guess if you like farming games, you're, you're eating good tonight. That's all I really got to say though. The direct disappointed me, but at least this Mario Kart footage looks phenomenal. If you made it this far in the video, I'm assuming you liked the video. So actually hitting the like button helps a lot. And comment down below your thoughts on everything I said so far. Do you think that the sleigh is really going to be throwing down items? Talk about the graphics, talk about the leaks. Let me know all your thoughts down below. And with that out of the way, I'm Thomas from The Switched Up signing off. Peace.